the Indian but, Psychiatric Society, which consists of 7,000 psychiatrists or specialists. It's the largest society of mental health professionals in India. The society supported the decriminalization of homosexuality in 2018, and this is what they had to say in April 2023. LGBTQ individuals be treated like all citizens of the country. Not here. Yes, para, uh, para, yes, para two, my Lord Justice, but that LGBTQ citizens be, tre be treated like all citizens of the country, and once a citizen can enjoy all civil rights like education, employment, housing, income, government, military service, access to healthcare, property rights, marriage, adoption, survivorship benefits, to name a few. There is no evidence to indicate that individuals on the LGBTQA spectrum cannot partake any of the above. On the contrary, discrimination which prevents the above leads to mental health issues. And in their last, in their recommendation, it is also of utmost importance that the family, community, school, and society in general are sensitized to protect and promote the development of such a child and prevent stigma and discrimination at any cost. This is a child being raised by same-sex parents. Now, my lords, if I may, my lords, there were four principal thrusts. So I'm just going to very quickly, I'm, I'm acutely aware of the time, my lords. Um, very quickly, psychological impact of children being brought up in same-sex households, my lords. Now, there are over 50 countries in the world that allow same-sex couples to adopt. So that is more than the number of countries that allow same-sex marriage. Those lists of countries are in the compilation. I'm not going to belabor this here. The most important points is that the big meta-studies that have been done over the last 20 years in countries that have allowed same-sex couples to adopt, to have children, the big meta-studies by the American Psychological Association, by meta-studies in the Netherlands, in Brazil, in South Africa, and all of that is in the note, all make three points. One, that there is no adverse impact on same-sex couples having children and those children. Two, if anything, the lack of protection adversely impacts those children. And three, that human sexuality develops quite early. So if you do not ensure equality and a protection from discrimination, then young people who are LGBTQ will be, in fact, psychologically impacted. This is what all the studies indicate. They are cited from in the note. And I want to take my lords, I want to take my lords to page, page five, if I may. The American Sociological Review, based on very concrete data, has come to these conclusions. The academic results, this is page five, my lords, of children raised by same-sex parents from birth outperform children with heterosexual parents by 0.139 standard deviations on academic te tests. Children raised by same-sex parents from birth are 4.8 percentage points more likely to graduate from high school than children with different sex parents. Support for this hypothesis that has given time-consuming and costly procedures for same-sex couples to obtain children, same-sex parents typically will likely have higher socioeconomic status and therefore better academic outcomes. So I don't want to premise this. I don't want to premise this, and I would hope that in future, when the state comes to argue for or against a case, that the state will locate its findings, its opinions, and form those opinions after talking to communities, after actually relying on studies that do exist for the last three decades now in the public domain. Finally, my lords, I want to just take my lords briefly to judgments by other constitutional courts in support of equal parenting rights for same-sex couples. This is page six of my written note, my lords. The first case, page 7, para 16. The National Coalition for Gay and Lesbian Equality versus the Minister of Home Affairs. 2000, the year is, Constitutional Court of South Africa. My lords, I just want to read these paras because it sums up this conversation here between these two sides that happened 13 years ago in South Africa. 
It said the South African Constitutional Court says this, from a legal and constitutional point of view, procreative potential is not a defining characteristic of conjugal relationships. Such a view would be deeply demeaning to couples, whether married or not, who for whatever reason are incapable of procreating when they commence such a relationship or become so at any time. It is demeaning to adoptive parents to suggest that their family is any less a family and any less entitled to respect and concern than a family with procreated children. I would even hold it to be demeaning of a couple who voluntarily decide not to have children or sexual relations with one another, this being a decision entirely within their protected sphere of freedom and privacy. In second place, there is no rational connection between the exclusion of same-sex life partners from the benefits of that their laws and the governmental interests sought to be achieved thereby, namely the protection of families and the family life of heterosexual spouses. No conceivable way, nor can I think of uh, any... Gurusami, could, Dr. Gurusami, yes. could we uh, have a look at the judgments later? Yes, my lord. So we, these, these we judgments... We have minutes left, so we'll hear the two Very others. well, my lords. These judgments are all there. There are multiple constitutional courts. And the DCPCR has given a list, my lords, it's a wish list, but of just guidelines on sensitization and education of society and steps that the government can take. I'm deeply obliged. Thank you, Dr. Gurusami. Thank you.